I so fucking drunk here uh, with yet another attempt to a nail review. The, the beer I'm going to uh, review just now is uh, Scottish beer. And it's uh, McCune's Export, 4.5 on a Richter scale. This is one that I have drank uh, throughout my life. Uh, it was my first uh, dabble into the, the brown beers, dark beers, uh, when I was younger. Underage drinking. <laughs> I did have a few McCune's Export. Uh, very, very, very enjoyable experience. That's all I'm going to say about this beer. What else is there to say about this beer? Uh, it's got a love-hate relationship uh, with a lot of people out there. Uh, you, either, you either love it or you hate it. So here we go. Here's a pour. Cunes export from a tin. There you go. Nice, dark, dark brown beer. Sorry about that, just trying to get rid of the, the wee crappy bit that sits at the side of your glass. I'm actually a pint of McKean's, a pint of export. That's what you have, so I've opened a second can just to give myself a pint. So there we go. Stuck it in a Scottish and Newcastle glass. That was a tart special glass. I think it come from the same stable, these guys. McKean's export. The best buying beer that used to be in the old uh, to be to be logo it used to go with it when it's advertising on the telly. So anyway, what we're getting from that? That caramel. That's uh, to me that that's all you get from the Scottish uh, eels, like so, like your McCunes and. Even with tenants as well, Scottish and Newcastle, and your your tenants breweries, are very caramel, caramel based. Uh, well, anyway, got to go in here for the taste and see what I can come up with. It's an old classic, uh, the McEwen's export. So slangy va. See what I can come up with. Oh, we hiccup up there. Yeah, it's that's a topper of beer. You've got your caramel notes in there, and you've got your bit of hop as well. Very hoppy, uh, different from the tenants. It's rivals. You've got a nice hoppiness as well, but the caramel notes come in there as well. They're, they're not as uh, sweet. As uh, what tenants has in its beer. Not really picking too much off the the nose, but there's a a lot. There's a couple of beer reviewers. I don't. I, I, I'm going to name uh, beer goggles, Mr. Terry K, and uh, Tuva, Urban Viking. Uh, <laughs> they do not like a beer that comes from. A their stable, the McEwen's Champion. Well, I'll tell you, the McEwen's Champion is a good beer. It's brewed with the soft Scottish waters for Scottish palates. And that's probably why you don't like them, because you're English. And that's a Scottish English thing. <laughs> I'm only kidding, guys. Uh, McEwen's, McEwen's Champion, I've got to admit, it's one of those, it's a Marmite beer. You either like it or you don't like it. But this one here, I know that uh, Beer Goggles has reviewed it. I actually said to him, uh, try a McCune's Export. He quite enjoyed it. So I would like to see Tuva review the the, the McCune's Export, which you should get everywhere. It is, it is widely available everywhere. I, I would like to see uh, your come up in it, because that guy picks up everything, uh, plus kitchen sinks on his nose. He's uh, got a fantastic nose. So have you, Terry. I'm not leaving you out there as well. He likes it, but he does. He comes away with some cracking things. It must be because of the Viking raids or something. So anyway, <laughs> moving on. Got to get back in here for our taste of the excellent McCune's Export. Oh, 
that is sessionable. 4.5 on the Richter scale. Session on that. Uh, easily. Widely available all over the UK. So I suggest you go down to your local supermarket and buy a 12 pack. Uh, 12 pack up here is getting ridiculous actually. It was. It's getting to say it's at £1.2 a can now for the McEwen's Export. That's that's basically where it's working in it. One pound two a can. Oh, you binge drinkers, you've ruined it for all us uh, sensible drinkers. Binge drinkers that make an arse of yourself. Man. Like so, everybody binges. I binge. You know what I mean? But <laughs> moving on. Well, anyway, get yourself down to the supermarket. Get a twelve pack of that. Set your footballs on or whatever. Sit and watch your team get beat. Win, win the Champions League, win the FA Cup, win the Scottish Cup, whatever you do, get down, make sure you've got 12 cans of that stuff in the fridge and you'll have an enjoyable experience. So anyway, Sophie King Drunk is going to give that, the McEwen's Export, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. So anyway, if you've had the McEwen's Export, or your team get beat, or it's won, any kind of cup at all, please let me know, drop a comment below, and if not, Slangy Va and join the McCune's export. Take it easy. Bye now.